Twilio Studio is a visual editor for creating Twilio applications. It works by dragging and dropping widgets that represent parts of the Twilio API and then connecting them together to create an application. If you can draw your application, chances are you can build it with Twilio Studio. We're going to build an application that takes an incoming text message and posts it into a Slack channel. Let's see what that would look like if we drew it up on a chalkboard. An incoming text message starts the engagement and then the message is posted into the Slack channel. It's really simple. This is what it's going to look like inside of Twilio Studio. So let's get to work building this application. We'll start in Slack and I'll go to the administration manage apps section and browse the app directory. I'm looking for the incoming webhooks app. Incoming webhooks makes it really easy for us to post messages from an external source, say a Twilio text message into Slack. We'll just make an HTTP post request with the text that we want to send to the channel. We'll need to add a configuration and pick the channel that we want to post to. I'm going to choose the general channel and then add the integration. That's going to give us a webhook URL that we'll use inside of Twilio to make our HTTP post request. So I'll copy that for now. Taking a look back in our Slack server, you can see that we added the incoming webhook integration. Okay, over inside of Twilio Studio, we're going to create a new Studio flow. And I'll name this Studio into Slack since we're going to go from Studio into our Slack channel. Click next and we'll start from an empty flow. In here we'll add an HTTP request widget. That's what we're going to hook up to the incoming message trigger. We'll rename this widget post into Slack. We'll change the request method to post and paste in the request URL that we got from the Slack integration. Now we need to set up some HTTP parameters. We're going to set up a payload and in the payload we're going to pass in the text. The text we're going to fetch out of the triggers message object and grab the body of the text message that was sent in on the incoming SMS. Then we'll click add parameter and finally save and save our flow. That's all there is to it to this flow. We'll click on the trigger and then click using your flow with a phone number and I'll buy a new Twilio phone number from the phone number console. I'm going to search for a 267 area code phone number and I'll buy the first Philadelphia number in the list. I'll click buy and then buy this number and then finally setup number and we'll be dropped into the phone numbers setup section. And then we want to go down to messaging where it says a message comes in. You'll change this to studio flow and pick our studio into Slack flow that we just created and click save for the phone number. Now I'll head back over to Slack and I'll pull out my phone and send a text message to our Slack channel. I'll just say hi from Twilio Studio and click send. And as soon as the message is sent, it appears in our Slack channel. That's all there is to it for getting text messages into a Slack channel using Twilio Studio. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to subscribe, click the Twilio logo over on the left. If you want to check out another video, I picked one out just for you. And if you want to try Twilio Studio, click the button in the bottom right. Until next time, I'm out of here.